So at this point, you want access to point E, which is OpenAI's text to 3D model generator, and it generates point clouds out of any prompt that you give it. But uh, all the spaces that have been made and everybody who's already compiled this into a project that you could just run, all of those are queued to the fucking max, right? So if I go to point E at Hugging Face, right, I want to make a airplane and it should generate a point cloud and I click submit, you're gonna see error. This application is too busy, keep trying. Basically, this is so fresh and so many people are trying it that the queues are insane. If instead I go to somebody else's point E demo, again, so everybody's making their own thing, so maybe this one has a shorter queue, Again, we're gonna try to make an airplane. We're gonna click generate. And even though this is better, we're at the fifth in the queue, uh, we still have to wait like some 500 seconds, right? Uh, the whole point of point E is that it runs super fast. So we either need to run this locally or find some alternative solution. And I don't wanna use somebody else's Google Colab. So here's what we're gonna do. Uh, we are gonna go to OpenAI's point E GitHub thing. So they made the code available. So you can literally just go to github.com slash OpenAI slash point E. And here you can see all the files and all the code that we need to run this thing. No, we're not gonna run it locally with all this Python code and all this. We're gonna do something in the middle. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up Google Colab, which if you haven't heard of it, don't worry. It's basically a Google's let me run code online platform. And the cool thing about this is if we go into this code, you go into point E, you go into examples, you're gonna see a lot of something called IPYNB files. There's three of them. That stands for Python notebook file. Uh, it means that we can run this on a notebook, either a Jupyter notebook or Google Colab or whatever, and we can just go step by step through the code and not worry about it. So what I wanna do is import this project into Google Colab and run it there so that there is no queue. So in Google Colab, I'm gonna go to GitHub and instead of like importing this in by downloading it and uploading it, what we can do is we can just take this link, paste it in here, let it think about it, and it's gonna search through the repository and see if there's any notebook files. And again, it found three. Specifically, I want this text to point cloud model. So I'm going to open this as a notebook. And you can see we, are, we already have all this code. Before we continue, uh, one thing you might wanna do is in the runtime, go to change runtime type. And if you have GPU as an option, do it. Um, sometimes you have to pay, sometimes you don't. Uh, just do it if you, if you can, it will just make things faster, okay? But it's not a requirement. So here, what we have is all the code. If we try to run it, uh, it's not necessarily going to work. At some point, we're gonna run into an issue uh, because what we need to do, is, this is just anonymous code. We need to have it, it have access to all these files. So the first thing is, it needs to have access to all these files as if we downloaded them. Uh, second of all, it's got to um, uh, go into this folder and the folder of this one and run the uh, file and all this. And thirdly, it has to do the calculation. Uh, so once you're in Google Colab, I'm gonna add a code block. So yes, it has all this code, but we can add a bit more. I'm going to type in git clone. And if you don't know what this means, literally just copy what I'm typing, git clone, and then the URL. What this block is going to do when we run it is it's going to look into the uh, this one, right? And it's going to uh, bring in this project, okay? Uh, the next thing we want to do is add another code block. So basically we're saying, look at this link and clone everything. Like look at it. And now we are talking about this thing. Uh, the next thing I want to do as you can see, when, when we look at the installation instructions, it says to install, use pip install dash E and all this. Uh, before we do that, uh, we've cloned this. Um, and now we want to do pip install dash E period. The reason I'm doing the period is that's what the command is here. So I'm going to run this block now and let's see what happens. Oh, error setup.py or setup.cfg not found. Uh, the issue here is we're not looking inside the uh, right directory. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna run a change directory command. So here you can see that we have the point E folder. And again, we wanna run um, all this code that's inside point E, inside examples. We need to say, look inside point E. So change directory to point E, run that block. So now we've cloned the repository we're saying we're looking inside the repository. And now for the next code block, we can say basically their installation instructions, pip install this. And now it should work because we're looking inside the right folder and we have all that imported. So you can see it's doing some calculations. It's installing some stuff uh, that we need and that is good to go. 
Next, we're gonna go through these blocks that were already here, so this import torch. So again, what we've done is we've cloned the repository. We said, look into this folder structure by saying change directory, and then we're doing the install instructions. And I'm just going step by step by step. So we're saying uh, import torch, um, check the right device, a lot of stuff that we don't necessarily understand. So let's give this a second to process, and soon we can generate a point cloud out of this. And uh, it's in the uh, second to next block where we can actually do that. But uh, again, the point here is there's no queues or anything, right? We're just pulling right from the GitHub repository. Uh, so here it's creating the base model. It's also going to create an upsample model. Just looking a bit ahead here, once we get to this block, we can type in something like an airplane, a baseball, whatever it is we want to generate a point cloud of. So that's where we're going to do our customizing. All of these you can just run as blocks that we're not going to edit except for that one. Okay, uh, next we're going to load the sampler. And now we want to generate the 3D model. So let's go for the classic example I've been using is a green chair. We're not specifying which chair, just a green one. We're going to run this and it's going to go for 130 iterations. This is where using that GPU I was talking before, about before is very useful because you can see it's ripping through these iterations and that's much faster than other models and that's the big deal here. Um, but you can see we're almost at 130 iterations where then we can uh, plot it, run this command. So it's saying output to point clouds, our samples, and you can see we have a green chair. And it generates this uh, view where you can see it from a bunch of different perspectives. If you want to see it a bit close up, uh, we could say change the grid size instead of this 3x3. Three three. Just type in the number 1, run this code block again, and now we have our green chair here. Uh, an interesting thing I noted in the last tutorial is a green chair is pretty general, right? If you have a different seed, it could be a different green chair. It could be a green armchair, a green Adirondack chair. So I'm going to run this again, again waiting for 130 samples. That will reload um, what we can generate into a point cloud, so I'm letting it do that. And now I'm running this uh, viewer again, and now you can see we have a totally different kind of chair. Now the next step here is how do we take this and export it into a point cloud uh, that we can use. And I can do that in another tutorial, I'll have to figure it out, but I imagine uh, it's going to be in this util folder. Uh, there's stuff like um, a PLY util, which is going to let us write a PLY, which stands for a point cloud, um, or you could use the point cloud uh, PY. But either way, uh, you can see now anything we type in here, we can now view, and it's generating this model. Let's try one more. Let's try a, instead of a table, um, I don't know if it's going to be able to do this. But let's go for it. Let's go for a trampoline, which is a step up in complexity. I don't know if it's going to handle the shape or the colors. Just going to see what it does. And if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. But it doesn't mean this model isn't where it's in its early infancy stages. So 130 iterations, run this again. That's a trampoline. You can see it's selected the rim here and it has a, a different cloth uh, material or color for the uh, center. Um, I think that's the essence of it. So again, just go to the uh, GitHub repository. I can put a link in the description. The commands we're going to add are git clone to look at the repository, change the directory to be inside that repository now that we have the files here, and then pip install, okay? And then just run the code. So hopefully this was helpful, and uh, don't sit in those queues for point E. See you in the next tutorial.